Hi, it's Lisa Cuneo, and welcome to my scrapbook table. Today I get to participate in the Stretch the Sketch YouTube hop, where we take a 12 by 12 sketch and either shrink it or stretch it and make any other size project. Today's sketch I'm showing you there is by Bookish Shayla. She has two photos. I end up with five photos that I stretch across these two pages to create a double page spread. Here I'm showing you that I'm using the Hello Again collection by, from Cartabella. I picked this up at Tuesday morning two or three years ago. I forgot I had it and I picked up another one. Um, so I have a lot of it. I'm trying to use it up. I would really like to kill this collection before the end of the year. So I showed you there that I um, backed this and created the 12 by 12s just by piecing pa papers together. The edge, the paper you see around the edge, the dark gray, it looks solid, but it's really not. It's a grayish, I don't know, maybe grayish color um, from Simple Stories. The back is a polka dot. I love this paper. I picked up about 12 sheets of it at a crop I was at from the yard sale table for maybe, I don't know, 10 cents a sheet, 20 cents a sheet, something like that. I've already used over half the ones I picked up. So I may see if I can find this online and order a little more. I had already decided I was going to stretch this band of hearts across the center. If I didn't already say that, that's from a scrap of Creative Memories paper. Um, and it's a good thing I had something planned for there because the pieces the yellow and the orangey ones were a little uneven. So in the sketch, her photo, the one on the left, is really prominent because the other one is so much smaller. And I wanted that idea too of having one more prominent picture. I used to do that all the time. I don't always anymore, but I really wanted to do that here. So I used what I gutted from that gray and put a frame around my favorite, well, maybe not my favorite. I love all these pictures. They so sh they show so many different sides of this, this sweet girl that we love. Um, but I liked this picture. It was a really good picture of her. Her face has a gorgeous smile. And so I just wanted this photo to be my focal point. So I backed it with the gray, the same gray that's backing the entire layout. And you'll see here, now I decide I want to move, I want to change the, the order of these pictures so that the smaller baseball picture, softball picture is on the right. Looking back, I kind of wish I'd left it the way it was, but that's okay. I'm still happy with how this layout turned out. I have her there playing the violin, which she has picked up really quickly. I was... Really happy to hear her play last time. She's really learning quickly. And so I put the two softball pictures on the right. I didn't tilt the picture the way it is in the sketch because she's already tilted in the photo and I just thought that might be too much tilting. <laughs> um, I had already inked the edges of most of my papers with I'm pretty sure this is VersaFine Claire Morning Mist. That's usually the one I grab. And I decided just to go around the outside of all of these. And you won't see it in the video, but after I filmed and took the pictures, I decided the layout needed a little something else. So I did tear some edges and tuck other cardstock in on the top left, in the bottom, and in the top right. And I think that that added some to this layout where it felt a little plain along the edges because so much is concentrated in the middle here. So I like this little three by four card and I trim it down. Um, here I'm going through some other ones and I cut out these happies. I actually cut out three of them because she is a happy, happy little girl. And I love to see that. And I have so many of these cut apart cards that anytime I can use up one or part of one, I'm thrilled. So I'm just trimming that down a bit. I need to get the part of it off. 
I have that white piece of cardstock glued to the edge of my trimmer because it helps me see where something is going to cut. Like I wanted that happy to be just beyond the edge of the white letters. So that's what helped me do that. And I decide I'm going to put those three happies across the bottom. I do go ahead and ink the edges with that same morning mist ink. And I'm going to use that little yellow card I put at the top right for a little journaling spot. And it looks like it's blending in. I do go ahead and ink the edges and I put some stickers on it and around it so it doesn't blend in quite so much. It stands out nicely at the, in the finished layout. I also pulled out some stickers from an old sticker book that went with this. I mean, it, it wasn't part of the collection, but the colors mixed well with it. And I pulled out some butterflies, hearts, and birds that are going on this page. And there the happy, happy, happies are down. I found this sticker that says, let your dreams bloom. And I knew I was going to put flowers on this page and I like the sentiment. So I decided that was going to be my title. And I was going through some um, ephemera and die cuts and things that I had thrown in with this collection when I was making a kit for another project. And I end up finding a big camera that the colors work. And I first I saw another one, but it just didn't work. So I found this big camera. I have no idea what collection it's from, what manufacturer. I don't know. I backed it with some fun foam so it would pop up. And it's going to nestle there in the corner between the two photos on the left. And I tuck the title in there as well. I think about putting these two little sticker tags there, but I end up not doing that. They go back on the sticker sheet. <clears throat> While I'm doing this, let me remind you to go ahead and look in the description box below so you will have a link to the other YouTubers playing along with the stretch, the sketch hop this month. And now things go awry. I don't know why I pulled out this other sticker page and started playing with it. Maybe because I was standing here scrapping, talking to my sister at the same time. We had, we got to have a nice little surprise visit. She lives, I live in Northeast Ohio. She lives South of Nashville. Um, I say you go to the middle of nowhere and you keep going and that's where she lives. Um, so we don't get to see each other very often, but we got to visit for a few days this week and that was really nice. Um, so maybe I was talking to her, but I had pulled out that other sticker sheet and then I realized, why am I doing this? There's flowers on the stickers that come with the collection. So I peeled up the flowers I didn't like and I put these flowers on that match. And as I look at it on the screen, and in person now, real life, I realize there's a gap there between the, or beneath the violin photo. I'm probably going to have to do something about that before I put this in an album, but I don't know what. And there I have another little camera sticker that I'm trying to put on the page because I wanted a sticker on the right. And I just, everywhere I put it, it didn't seem to fit. So it ends up being tried out in a few places and it goes it goes back on the sticker book I probably could have left it in any of those places and it would have been fine you can see that I added a bird and a label over there where I'm going to do my journaling and that and the inking help that journaling block stand out well on the page in real life even if you can't see it much on camera <laughs> I fussed with that camera for way too long. I, I should have admitted defeat long ago. But anyway, there we go. And I thought at one point in here, my sister came over and, and waved to the camera. But I had been turning my camera on and off when I went looking for things. And it must have been off when she did the waving because now I don't see it. Here I'm adding some hearts. 
I love these colors. That coral pinky peach color of the happies and the the dots on the bottom half of this layout are just I really really like those. And since I have the Let Your Dreams Bloom sticker, I don't need to create a different title. Here, I'm, I pulled out two different Nouveau drops. One is more silvery gray, one is black. I put them on a little scrap of paper here, and my sister comes over to help me decide which one I want to use. And I end up, there she is pointing. <laughs> end up going with the lighter one because as she pointed out it looked the black was too stark for the hearts that are on here and so I went with the silvery gray and after it dried I really do like those they they were a good touch for here in fact I may add a few more I don't know I might though I really like them and it would be good to use up more nouveau drops instead of just letting them sit on my little spinny thing where I keep bottles of stuff like that. You use such a teeny little bit to make a dot, these bottles last so long. Well, thank you for joining me today. You will see some still shots here in just a moment. Again, visit the other people playing along with Sketch, Stretch the Sketch, and thanks, Janet, for letting me join in the group. I had fun doing this, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.